Hello, I'm Lina from the Dog Spotters and I'm here with Balint Reves, the director of the Granny Project. Hello. Hello. The Granny Project is a film about three friends and their grandmothers discovering past, present and future. As a grandfather, would you have been taken part in such a project? They would have to force me a bit, but yeah, um, probably I would. Um, if, if, if that what makes my grandson or granddaughter happy, then yeah, probably I would. How did you get in contact with the three friends? Um, we went to the same university in, in Brighton, South, South England, and then suddenly we had like after like, you know, weeks and months spent together, we um, found out that um, our grandparents have like a really um, interesting stories themselves and then all three of us have like a kind of a special relationship, um, more or less, with, with our grand grandmothers. Um, I think there are different ways to interpret your film. What is, in your opinion, uh, the meaning of the film? Well, I think the meaning of the film that um, you cannot explain something or like describe something in, in a in a really simple way. Like everything is really complex, complex, and like um, and depends on a you know a point of view where you're looking at the thing. But but I think the general point is that you have to be open in order to so at least like try or like attempt to understand um, things around you. Um, I didn't really understand the part where um, the protagonists were in the house with the microphones and were playing that it would be um, they would be guns. And uh, what's, the, what's the meaning behind this? Would you explain it to me, please? I think um, for our generation, um, for like Y generation, so people who were like born in the 80s, 90s and now growing up, the closest kind of like um, thing for the, to the Second World War is the um, computer games. Um, the computer games where we, which we play, Dune, Dune or like whatever, like the lo 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 loads of computer games which say in the Second World War and you can, you know, you can choose sides and, and then play that. It was a sort of like a improvisational idea and then the English, English grandson, Mary, is like a big computer game fun. Um, and uh, I think that's, that's why I found it relevant because for us, you know, there isn't really anything um, direct sort of contact to that world except like computer games and, and um, yeah, his, history books. But history book is, you know, it's dry. Did you really have a plan uh, what to make in, in the film? Because it really seemed like it was uh, really spontaneous. Um, yeah, a lot, I think like a lot of it was definitely spontaneous and improvisational. Um, but it, it, it was made over like a course of like seven years. Um, so we started uh, filming in 2011 uh, or 2010 and the, the concept has developed a lot since the beginning so um, um, and we spent a lot of time with our grandmother so basically in order to reach this reach a stage when they like open and playful enough as you you know what you see in a film a it, we had to work on that for like years so like for instance we like asked our grandmothers like the same to tell the same stories over and over again and like s five years ago it was super boring for three years ago it was like kind of semi boring a bit too long and then like you know by the time after like fifth sec sixth time we asked them to tell the same story they they kind of like they got trained how to tell it in order to sort of us to be interested and so a lot of a lot of the background work isn't seen but we always had um, left space um, unintentionally left space for for improvisation and just for for play to play or to, for games yeah did you hesitate to put uh, the part when the grandmother died into the film no we like that was a set um, a dedicated shoot because when she died last year not not even a year ago last December um, and then I wanted to do some more filming with um, with the German b um, guy um, Ruben but um, I definitely wanted to have a, a conversation with Mary about losing his grandma because I think it's really important as you know for the film and like that relationship has 
has developed a lot over the, this last six years, and they got really close um, by the end of it. And um, and that was it was really a fortunate thing that Mary was there at the last moment when she passed away. I think uh, Granny Project is a great film. I hope you'll have a lot of success tomorrow, even in the evening. Mm. And yeah, I wish you a lot of fun at the festival. Cool. Thank you very much.